latest pick in Seattle. Minnesota didn't waste too much time throwing their pick in. Again, they gave up a fifth round selection in uh, on Saturday on a three and a four in next year's draft. Wow. And the 23rd overall pick they got from Houston back in March. And Jacksonville amasses those picks for the Vikings to come up. Could this be the kid from Alabama, you think? Could it be Arnold? What do you think? Could it be corner, and, another? Pa corner and pass rusher? I, I gave him Chop Robinson in the mock you think draft so? to give him an edge Remember rusher. Remember, Daniil Hunter is in Houston. Correct. So it makes sense at that point to look at that position. But they've all historically been a corner group. Yeah. So we'll see how it turns Jared out. Jared Verse still out there. Yep. So Minnesota, um, there's only been Very two trades tonight. Oh, yeah. And Minnesota's pulled off both of them. And let's see who they'll add to the mix with J.J. McCarthy. The Jacksonville Jaguars have traded the 17th pick to the Minnesota Vikings. With the 17th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Dallas Turner, linebacker, All right. Alabama. So Dallas Turner, who sacked J.J. McCarthy in the Rose Bowl, <laughs> is coming out of the green room right now to be a teammate of JJ's and the edge rusher from Alabama who many people penciled in to go to Georgia eighth overall as the first defensive player taken is now coming out of the green room as the third defensive player taken in a row after 14 offensive players started our night this tells you what type of night it's been in the back of my mind, I assume Dallas Turner's gone. Already gone. I didn't even have, I'm, we're going to look at names. I'm thinking, okay, who's going to be there for him? And I got to go all the way up to the very top of the edge rusher list. They're the number one edge rusher in the draft. And they're able to reel him in as well as getting their quarterback. That's job well done. Yeah, I thought the same thing too, which is why I mentioned his teammate and Terry on Arnold. Yeah. Um, I, you know, right church, wrong pew. <laughs> he is coming out and holding up a purple jersey. To, we're assuming complete the Minnesota Vikings night. They came in with two first round draft choices. They used them, but not in the spots where they originally had them. Two draft trades tonight. It's Minnesota moving up twice, and Dallas Turner's the guy now. He's going to get a chance to play on a fast track there in that dome as well. Brian Burns, think about the juice, the burst, the get off that he has. He's now a New York Giant. Dallas Turner, similar type of player. Ridiculous length. I mean, he's got rare arm length. Uses those arms to be able to reel guys in. He's got tremendous lateral range. The take on to me was fine. Some teams had a concern with it. I didn't have an issue with it. He's able to hold his ground, take on blocks. You saw it there. That inside long arm working against Georgia, that's his calling card as a rusher. Able to pry that shoulder open and then get inside. And then once he gets to the high side of the rush, there's that burst and bend to finish CD. And one thing about Alabama players, as you guys all know, when you played for Nick Saban, it's fourth and one every day. All right, that's how they work in practice, how they go. And when you think about what Minnesota's thinking, before we're talking about are the trades for quarterbacks, are the trades for offensive tackles, very few pass rushers left after Latu came off the board. So Minnesota makes the move to go get one. Daniil Hunter now in Houston. And you guys mentioned chasing C.J. Stroud in the AFC South. Well, who are you chasing in the NFC North? Jared Goff, Jordan Love.